Hi, Emily. Hello, Alex. Hey, what are you doing this evening? I don't know. I thought about heading to the museum. I've got some work to finish up. Oh, come on, Alex. On a day like this, can't you tear yourself away from work just for today? Do you have a suggestion? Mm-hmm. There's a quiz today at 9 in 7th Heaven. I thought we could go together. I can't take the history round on my own. Come on, let's have a bit of fun. Don't be so boring. <sighs> okay, I'll sort out the inventory and I'll try to make it in time. You can do the inventory tomorrow. Don't try to trick me. <sighs> I wanted to start early so I could get more of my project done tomorrow. Oh my god, you're never gonna get a girlfriend. Seriously, you should be grateful to have me. See you at 9. Don't be late. I've got a surprise for you. Later. Alex. What are you doing here on a Sunday? Oh, I have some research to finish for my project. I won't be long. I'm closing the building at 8. Please, don't make me come and get you. Sure. Thanks. This could be interesting. Is that Latin? Whoa. What's this? What's going on? Where am I? Tiendes, understand? Uh, yeah, I understand. No time for explanation. Follow me. Hey, look. Fire! They know you've escaped. Now they'll be looking for you. What do they want with me? I didn't do anything! Burn down the stable. That wasn't me! I know. Be careful with the cattle. See that dog? It'll give us away if we get too close. Hey, let's slip into the shadows here. Quick! What signals aren't there? What? He's nuts. Listen, you don't understand anything. I didn't at first either. Nothing wrong with that. But you need to hear me out and believe me. But first, do you remember what happened before you opened the book? I had just arrived at work. I'm working on a project and I was collecting material for it, which my colleague left for me. He specializes in the topic I'm interested in. And then? Uh, this book. I don't know where it came from. From an excavation, I guess. I opened it, 
and I was like I got whacked on the nose. There was a strange smell. In fact, everything about the book was strange. It was like it vibrated when I touched it. I felt terrible. Then I passed out. And when I came to, I was here. Now a weird question. What year was it? What year? 20, of course. 1920? No, 2020. Well, I'll be a son of a bitch. What is it? Wait, this should not have happened. Get ready, we're leaving. How? Corvilla, Peter Elam. Oh! Why the hell didn't you hit him? I, I, I don't know how to punch. What? Don't know how to punch? Are you shitting me? I've never been in a fight before. Well, I'll be damned. Well, there's a first time for everything. Dodge! All right, that's better. You still have a lot to learn. You're a good kid, but there's no time now. We need to leave. Can you please tell me your name and explain what's going on here? Nick Rhodes. Nice to meet you. I'm Alex. I'll explain on the way, but first... My partner and I decided to have a little fun. I mean, we were going to rob a stagecoach, you know? That was our thing. We were waiting to ambush the stagecoach. One of my guys in the post office had told me they had some kind of problem, and soon, They'd send out an important secret package. Something seriously goddamn important. We didn't know what the security would be like, but we knew they'd make it look like they were transporting posts, cards, love letters, and a bunch of other crap. Then we saw the wagon. The horses, the color, everything matched the description. We put Margaret in the middle of the road. It's an old trick. But it works like a spell. They either want to save her, or save her and then screw her. Who knows? Then we got to work. Right after Margaret slit one of these assholes' throats. I opened the lid, and what did I see? Another book. And you guessed it. What is it, Rhodes? Are we rich? You know what was inside the stagecoach? Books. Damn books, and I can't even read. Ooh, I'll show you now. What happened with the book? Oh, oh yeah. If I'm honest, I calmed down and decided to take a look at the book. I opened it, took one right to the nose. My bones turned to jelly, and everything went black. What the hell? Let's stop here for the night and carry on in the morning. Go, go and get some wood for a campfire. Let me finish. You're good at making campfires. Nicely done. Anyway, we'll stay here for three days, then everything will be reset and we'll be back in the village. I've been existing like this for a long time. Every damn time I wake up in the same stable, I've killed thousands of people and slept with thousands of women. Maybe not just women, I don't remember. I'm losing my mind here. And now you're here. Things will change. We'll find that book, I promise you. 
You and I will get it. <laughs> Can you explain normally? Georgina will explain everything. Who is Georgina? <laughs> hey, are you asleep? <sighs> Can you just explain it to me normally? Now we're going to get an interview with the biggest fun sponge in town, Alex Green! How do you feel about graduating from college? Do you feel like an adult now? If this is some kind of prank, you need to stop now. I'm scared. Maybe I could just leave. Just run away. But I don't have the strength, and only 70% batteries left. Tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. they want from us? Take a guess. Oh, right. Anthropology? What? Ritual cannibalism. Oh, there you are, my love. Wait, no. Stop, stop, stop. That's enough. I mean, they won't bother us anymore. Please, put your gun away. Pathetic. If you're gonna behave like this, we'll never get that book. Pull yourself together. How do you know the right place? We keep heading along this path. That way. Where do we go now? I'll explain. Listen. I entered a tavern to keep drinking somewhere warm. Obviously, as soon as I enter, everyone looks at me. I go up to the barkeeper, but he's in no mood to serve me. Where are you from? You wouldn't know it. You a traitor? No. So tell me who you are, and you'll be my welcome guest. Nick Rhodes. I realize he wouldn't leave me alone. But I was so nicely buzzed and too lazy to start killing. Then I notice a flute. I'm a musician. Well then, Nick Rhodes the musician! Play us something they like around your parts. We'd love to hear it. The dickhead next to me started to sing. And in his lyrics, I hear a story about a book that made me break out in a cold sweat. Suddenly I remembered who I was and where I was from. I don't live here with these Scandinavians, and I wasn't born a Viking. I'm a resident of Deseret, a bandit, and a goddamn fiend for fried chicken. I remember that I have to get back. I realized that the bard was leaving and decided to follow him and see about this story. And then? Nothing. He sailed away. What's this cave? <laughs> I should ask you the same. I've never been here before.
It looks like it's been lived in at some point. That means there's a way through. Let's cut through. I'm not sure. Don't even think about it. Let's go. Whoa. What's that? Runes. <laughs> what would I do without you? <laughs> this is the symbol of the seven kings who wanted to atone for the sins of their people. So they sacrificed their sons here. And every day they independently brought signet rings bearing their seals to the altar. Not to atone, but to correct. And eight kings, not seven. It's not a well-known story, as I understand. The eighth had no sons, so he sacrificed his whole family. His people didn't understand, so they burned him. His brother ruled in his place. How do you know all these details? The most recent mention of this story dates back to the second century. And we're in the twelfth. I was drinking once with some crazy shaman who, he says, had been alive for over a thousand years. To prove it, he told this story, which no one now knows. Clearly, he was lying. <laughs> well, I think we need to put the kings with the days of week, when they used to bring their ring. Oh! Did you know that would happen? No! Let's head inside. It's not a dead end anymore. Why are you always so set on going in places? Try it out. Come on. Yes. Fits perfectly. Sky, sky, something land. These aren't ancient runes? Skyland, this is it. We made it, Alex. The city of passage of time. I swear I thought we'd never find it. What do you mean, never? We've come this far. Let's go. This is no time for a chat. We're a great team. Let's go. What now? I don't know. It looks like a dead end. What's the inscription? Pronouns. More like... Say. Password? We can't get stuck here just like that. Maybe the verse has the wrong crypts. Stop! What now? Don't! Seriously! Let him go! Yeah, kiss my ass! You know the password! Tell me! Hey, hey! Oro! Oro! <laughs> Touch me again. I'll cut out your eyes. Because of your goddamn sissy principles, he almost killed me! So, you're immortal? Look! It's a ring! With the seal of one of the kings! Were they really here? It looks like this book is the reason they came. They wanted to use it to correct the sins of their people. Um. 
It's been here for millennia. Listen, maybe the floor... Back off! Do you hear me? Back off! This looks like a map. Hmm... The map. I had some historical copies. Let's see. Hmm... Come on, man! The final fight! I really need you now! Of course! Here it is! He's always talking crap about killing. Don't kill, don't kill. Don't kill. I decide who I kill and who I don't. It's a stupid idea to be soft in a world like this. You know, I could mess everyone up with this. Don't believe me? <laughs> Get up. Hear me? Get up! What are you doing here? How did you find me? From the shouting, in the woods. How do you think? What did you do here? Uh, I realized that, I guess in a certain sense, you were at... Uh, 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 what the hell? I'm in a bad way. I've crossed the line. Please. Let's get out of here. I've done something stupid. Maybe I'm not aging physically, but all the same, I'm older somehow. All oh, these people. I gunned down the entire village. Do you understand? Nick, what have you done? You were running around like an idiot in your unloaded pistol and shouting that you could kill everyone here. And then you fell over, hurled, and passed out. Everything's fine. Don't worry. What? Oh, this is the village where that bard was. I, I remember the market. Yeah, it seems it wasn't that far from the legendary place. My god, I need to stop drinking. I know where the book is. What? I found a map and matched it with some documents I already had from our situation. We need to get to that island. So, what are we waiting for? Wait, promise me that you'll never kill anyone around me ever again. I promise. Then we need a boat. Do you know where to get one? What a question. We're already at the sea. Right. Now where? There's only one mark on the map. Let's head there. Look, by the way, ships. These must be the same Vikings that sailed here with the Saint Merchant. What are they doing here? Yeah! Right there. I don't know, but get your Excalibur ready. Run! That way! Okay. We got a way. Now lead us with your map. Here's a way in. How do we keep going? Let's look for a way around. There's no time. I've seen a lot of these bridges. We go carefully and slowly, one at a time. I'll go first, then you. I hope we make it. Well, are we going the right way? Let me check. No, 
No, not now, please. What is it? I'm out of battery. What does that mean? I don't know what to do now. It means the smartphone isn't working anymore. Now we have no map, no light, no nothing. Don't get all flustered. I've lived my whole life without those things and I'm just dandy. I'm alive. Do you remember where we need to go? North. Well, there you go. Look. You see the constellation Ursa Major in the sky? Find the dipper and look a little higher. There it is, the North Star. It always points north and never lets you down. Believe me. Who? Who are they? You've got a few bullets left, and your weapon is dead. Now mine is dying. Let's go. There's very little time left. Look, that's the tree from the map. I don't see anything. I see it. How do we get to it? I'll go down. You're kidding, right? Does it look like I'm kidding? Done! Nick, Nick! The Vikings are here! What? Get back up here, quick! The Vikings are here! I'm coming! You will never get that book while I still have breath in my lungs. So, this book lets you travel through time? Yes. It was created by the devil and sends a demon into your soul, I swear. One can't simply violate the universe God created like that. Why does this man want... He wants to destroy it, and if I'm honest, he's doing the right thing. Won't this have seriously bad consequences? Everything is as God wills it, my son. So he captured you so that you would translate the sections written in Latin. Have you found anything out? As soon as your friend frees us, I'll give you the notes. I no longer want any of this. Nick! Nick! I'm here! Hold on. Let me figure this out. That's it. I'm all out of bullet. Thank you, kind man. And you, take this. Use them wisely. Hey, I'm sorry for all this. No, you were right. Sometimes in life you just need to take it from there. Hurry, they're already inside. What have you found? This book can transport people to totally different time periods. It can send them anywhere. But that's not going to happen to us? I don't know. This book is someone's property, it says so. You and I have ended up where someone has already been, and not where we wanted to go. It's created some kind of pocket, I guess. So we're on a different timeline to the rest of humanity. Get it? No, and I don't really want to. Can we get home? I really hope so, but there aren't any precise instructions. So, we're living in three days, which somebody has already lived before us? Yes, and it's someone who knows how to use this book. By the way, Alex, here you go. This thing has been a lifesaver. Thanks. It seems that my weapon is out of juice, just like yours. I think we can get by without them now. Let's do it. Why don't you just calm down? Brother, just give us the book. We'll use it once, and then you can do what you want with it. No, it's too dangerous. It has destroyed entire kingdoms and caused the deaths of my ancestors. No one will ever use it again. You goddamn fanatic! You're going to ruin people's lives! Nick! What? He's insane. Why should we talk to him? I agree. We can't settle this with words. I 
said you will never get it. Just try and come near me. You should have stayed out of this. My knife. That's my boy. You don't even need me. We're almost out of time. Run. Well, I'll be a son of a bitch. There it is. That was one tough goddamn journey. Well, the nun said we need to... There! That page. You need to use your finger and read it. How shall we do it? Go on. You first. What if it only works on me? Then to hell with it. I've thought of that. You're young. You've got your whole life ahead of you. A bright future. I'll live out my days here if needs be. You wouldn't last a day here without me anyway. No, Nick. I can't just leave you here. It- I said do it! Read the damn inscription! Alright. What will you do when you get home? I'll invent something to bring food and women right to my house. So this is it. <laughs> This is a rough three days, but I'm glad I got a great friend out of the whole ordeal. I'd invite you to visit, but... I would gladly accept. <coughs> Alright, enough blubbing. Read it. Any minute now you can wake up in that stupid barn again. Just don't forget to get rid of the book. <laughs> <laughs> 